What's up guys, JT here with a review on the Kershaw 3420 Nerve. This is an amazing value. Let me start out by saying that. G10, very good hefty weight, so you always know it's on you. Very nice clip. For an overseas knife, I'll take that centering. That's good enough for me, man. Very different deployment. This knife has what's considered a thumb plate. It's not a thumb stud, it's not a flipper, but it comes out very easy. I mean, you just put your thumb on that plate and go. So your plate has jimping and it even has an area here to rest your thumb. You got some jimping on the back of the handle, which is freaking amazing. It's even got jimping on the liner, folks. I mean, this is serious. Something I've noticed, and I don't know why, it kind of upsets me, I ain't gonna lie. A lot of the Kershaws made overseas have some of the features that we wish were made on our higher end knives, like our knockouts and our pistons and our cryos. Something that's relatively popular on frame locks, but not that much on liner locks. You'll notice that the lock does not get under the blade enough. This is a perfect example. Pack rat camo that I just reviewed not too long ago. So you can see with the pack rat, the liner is only partially under the blade, not completely under it. I didn't even have to push this one in here on the nerve. $16 knife overseas produced with a quality ATR 13 MOV steel. This uh, liner got right under the blade. I usually like to push them in to get the most purchase of lock. You don't even have to do it with this. Bam, keeps going back, right back to the center. That's just the way that this knife rolls. Phosphor bronze bushings, very thick liners. This knife is definitely a beater, but it's it's a beater that won't break the bank. Still has an RJ Martin design, so it's not just a generic run-of-the-mill Kershaw knife. It's got a bead blast finish, stainless steel blade. These handles, by the way, not only are they G10, but they are milled. Whatever machine is programmed to do this work, it probably takes about maybe 30 to 40 minutes to do one scale. For Kershaw to be giving us an offering like that for $16, I would definitely go out and get one of these. Just a great EDC blade that you won't be afraid to beat up. The edge is razor sharp right out of the box. It's amazing that this knife has so much to offer for the price point, whereas other knives fail, or they're always missing one out of the eight important things. This knife at least has seven of them. All right, guys, gotta go. I'll talk to you soon. JT Blackhawk here with Not Enough Knives and a review of the Kershaw 3420 Nerve. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.